students so in the previous video I explained about the local area network now let us coming to the next topic that is a man metropolitan area network so a network within a city you call it as a man first a network in a city is called man so whereas land i discussed that a land that will be uh, arranged in only the building within a building within a campus so there you can go for the local area network when coming to the metropolitan area network a network that is used within a city you call it as a man so commonly used in school campuses or large companies with multiple buildings so is a large it is larger than land man is larger than land but smaller than van than wide area network so it it is present in between so first the land will be present the range land next man after that van so it is larger than van and smaller than van so a metropolitan area network is a system of lands connected throughout a city so if you take a city if your organizations are present within a city so then you can prefer metropolitan area network a man's have requirements of using telecommunication media such as voice channels or data channels so it uses the telecommunication communication media so the telecommunication media within the city then then uh, they are go for man and the branch office are connected to head office through vans so branch office are connected to head offices through man so let us take the example the example here is the organizations that uses mans or universities and colleges grocery chains and banks everything uh, within the city they can go for the metropolitan area network so let me uh, draw a simple diagram how the man will be located mans use that is the metropolitan area network uses local exchange carries how the local exchange carries by using the man suppose if you take us downtown office is there so there a systems are connected by using the bus topology with the help of the bus technology that is a ethernet so this ethernet is connected to suppose a router is present so this is one office there a uh, all the systems are connected to router and another warehouse is also there so there also a systems will be connected with the help of lan local area network okay and this will be connected to a router is a central device so these routers are communicating in the network that is a cloud so network this so this you call it as this is nothing but is a local exchange carrier you call it as a local exchange carrier and suppose if you take this is a warehouse and suppose this is a downtown office so this downtown office and the warehouse are connected by using the local exchange carriers okay and now coming to here a branch office is there so this is how the uh, metropolitan area network will be used so this local exchange carriers is a man metropolitan area network signal and this is lan and this is connected with the help of lan and these two routers are connected by using the metropolitan area network that is a local exchange carrier signals and take another example suppose this is a branch office branch office and here you are having a central office let us take this is a central office 
okay this is central office and here some factories are there which are related to this uh, company fact uh, factories factories and uh, another branch office is also there so here all these branch office will be factories will be and the another branch office has to connect with the central office this, so this is the main office so here the distance will be 20 kilometers 80 kilometers or 60 kilometers so if this is if the offices are uh, present in this distance range then you can go for the metropolitan area network so they will use the central office uses the metropolitan area network to communicate with the branch office factories and another branch office with are present uh, which are present in the same city so here you have to remember the range should be within 100 kilometers within 100 kilometers that is a city so within 100 kilometers uh, you can use the metropolitan area network okay so this is about the advantages sorry uh, how the local exchange carriers will be done with the help of uh, metropolitan area network now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of using metropolitan area network the advantages is it provides a good backbone a good backbone for a large networks large networks and also provides greater access to vans access to vans and next the dual bus used in man the dual bus used in man helps the transmission of data helps the transmission of data in both directions simultaneously in both directions simultaneously so this is these are the advantages of using the metropolitan area network now coming to the disadvantages what are the disadvantages of using man here the more cable requirement for man connection from one place to another from one place to another so there is more cable requirement to connect uh, uh, one place to another uh, that is one of the disadvantages of using the man and also it is difficult to it is difficult to make the system secure it secure to make the system secure from hackers So these are the advantages and disadvantages of using the metropolitan area network. Thank you.